Today I'm gonna go plan our paint outside and take you guys along. But first I need to prep my panel with a second layer of gesso. So this is dry. I totally didn't just blow dry it. I think we can prime it and then go out and paint. And I don't know exactly what I'm painting, but I was out there like half an hour ago and I saw our trail and the sun was hitting it really cool. So I thought I would go out and try to plan and paint that. So I thought that this was dry, but apparently it's not because it's turned this peach color. So I'm gonna let that actually finish drying. I think I'm going to just bring this brush on top. So I think I found my spot. I'm gonna paint this slope with the sun hitting the snow. Can you get out of my face? And hopefully it'll make an interesting subject. I was originally going to paint our trail that we have back here, but I decided I'm not going to do that and I'm going to paint this slope. Also, my brother is shooting his Pelican, so if you hear that, then that's him. <laughs> So I'm gonna do a quick sketch. Hopefully it dries quick enough. I'm just going to kind of put in what I'm thinking here in terms of composition and also just trying to lay out what I think would be an interesting painting. And it can be kind of hard sometimes to think of these subjects and paint them how you see them. There's a few things I like about this composition and one of them is this little tree. I don't exactly know what type of tree it is. Right here. It's kind of just branching off. I also like these trees in the background and how they kind of just disappear. So I'm just gonna indicate trees back here. Then I'm going to put a stump here because I do actually like that. And then also another thing I like is this snow. So we're gonna kind of lay it throughout here. I need something here to kind of direct your eye up here. So we're gonna try to keep the snow kind of leading our eye up into the painting. And so I'm really gonna try not to put too much snow in this area right here. So I pretty much have most of the things I want, except for there are these pieces of brush that I actually really like. So I'm gonna try to put them like in this corner. And this is gonna be my corner plant that kind of keeps your eye from drifting. Uh, my goal is to try to complete this painting or get the block in done in 30 minutes, so. Um, and then maybe some rocks because I kind of like this. So this could, this could get messy real quick and so I'm kind of nervous to see where this goes. But I'm gonna try to simplify it and make it beautiful. I'm gonna let this dry for just a few minutes and then I'm gonna start painting. I'm gonna try to capture the sun hitting the snow in the best possible way I can. So I'm gonna kind of exaggerate the blue in this painting quite a bit and really just Try to bring the blue out that I see. Also, I'm mixing my colors slightly brighter because it's gonna mix with the orange. I'm just trying to capture the shadow of the trees. Um, my goal is not to completely finish this out here, but just to make it look how I'm seeing the landscape. So. This is a very blue color, but I think it will work. I'm pretty much doing the entire painting 
with this half inch angle brush. I recently got it and I think it's going to work very good for planar painting. I'm trying to keep in mind composition and shadow because I want my viewer's eye to go towards this tree up here. Okay, I'm gonna move on to painting the background up here. I'm looking at the snow down there. I'm seeing the snow and then the background kind of just fades off to a kind of green blur. So I'm gonna try to just make this background a little bit blurry, but not too blurry <laughs> to where it looks fake. It's too, too, too yellow. The sun is coming out and making everything look very beautiful today. Part of the reason I got into plein air painting was I love being outside, especially in the summertime. Um, I recently got into painting plein air because you can paint outside and paint what you're seeing outside and it's very peaceful to me. But this is definitely not warm down here in the shade, so. I'm gonna move on to painting the white snow, I think. So I wanna make this not a pure white. And how I do that is I'm gonna mix in just a tiny bit of burnt sienna. This is gonna help with conveying sunlight too. This reminds me of something kind of out of like a children's book where like a rabbit would be running through or something. I actually really like how it feels, but I don't think I'm gonna add a rabbit. There's also tiny like little ripples and things in the snow, uh, which is gonna give the effect of dappled light. But I'm kind of just trying to get the first layer down and then move on because it's pretty cold out here. I love plein air or plein air painting. Um, which one is it guys? I'm almost certain it's plein air painting because that's what everybody says and that's actually how it's spelled. I said plein air painting in my video because that's how some people say it but um, I'm calling it plein air from now on because that's the right pronun pronunciation. It's the right pronunciation. I'm still definitely in that beginner stage of planner painting I've, and I'm excited to see where this goes. I actually think I'm going to add a, quite a bit of orange into this white right now and see what this looks like just real quick. I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me on my latest planner painting. Hope you guys enjoy. But first, I need to get out of this, so. So, I also headbutted my sister. So, if you see this gash, that's from her head. <laughs> I'm not joking. I bent over and she bent up at the same time I went. And yeah, I like, got a pretty big gash on my uh, eyebrow, so I don't have a concussion, so that's good. Now I want to paint. <laughs> so just been trying to think of painting ideas that I could use for the winter months of my calendar I'm going to be making next year. So I'm hoping that I can get enough paintings that look good that I want to put on a calendar. That's my goal. This is also quite a bit different than a video that I normally do. So if you guys like more vloggy, take me along type videos, I would love to do them. But I also don't plan on doing tons of videos like this.
watching i hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye